Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So after getting that mantle put up last week, I thought I'd better sort out some other things in the living room. As you can see, I've got these copper pipes in the alcove that need boxing in. I also have piles of books stacked up in my bedroom, so I thought I'd try and kill two birds with one stone, box in these pipes and make some shelves for my books. I work out how deep I want the shelves to be and then I need to remove some skirting board so it can sit flush with the wall. I've got this little Japanese pull saw and it's really handy for making small cuts like this. When I cut all the way through I can get a crowbar and then just lever it off the wall. It doesn't matter if it leaves a bit of a mess behind because that's all going to be covered up. What I've decided to make the bookcase out of is some scaffold boards. They're really strong cheap and I like the kind of industrial chunky look. They come with metal bands at the ends to stop them splitting so the first thing is to get them removed. The boards I've gone for are 3.6 meters long just because they were on special offer at the time but it means I had to get them delivered because there's no way they're going to fit in my car. Because they're so long it also makes it a bit tricky to get them in and work in the workshop so I've just pulled the evolution saw out onto the patio to do this. I first mark out how high I want the shelves to be and these are about two and a half meters and in my living room that's going to stretch from the floorboards and up to the cornice. As these are such long boards they need a supporting at the ends so I managed to find some bricks to stick under them and that just held it upright. I start by cutting out the uprights, the two and a half meter long bits and then I can cut out all the shelves and this used up all the other bits of scaffold board I had in the garage. I'm happy for this project to look a bit rustic, but everything did need to sand down before putting it together. When I finally had all the bits sanded, I could start getting it put together. I started with the two bits that didn't involve any thinking, the top and the bottom that can just get screwed in place. Then I go and measure my tallest book and cut a scrap of scaffold board to that height. I can get this put in place and then butt the first shelf up against it. I can then get some screws in from one side to hold it in place, move that little block of wood to the other side, push it up against and then get some more screws in. The whole of this unit is just going to get held together with screws. Because it's going in an alcove you'll never see them and it makes a job like this incredibly quick. I got a couple of shelves put in at that first height and then I went and measured my next biggest books and cut the shelf down or the spacer down to that. I could then get some more shelves put in but now at this reduced spacing. I then went and did this one more time so I had shelves at three different spacings. Now when I've measured this up I wanted it to be a tight fit so that it would box in the pipes and go straight up to that cornice but actually trying to manoeuvre it in, I was worried for a second it wouldn't fit, but it did, just. I could get it pushed in to the level I wanted, and then I got some screws through the base into the floorboards. Got a little bit of scrap wood and put an L-shaped bracket on it. This is then going to be attached to the underside of the top shelf, and it could be tied into the wall. So now the whole thing is secured at the top and the bottom, and is going nowhere. Time I've got some books in place, you'll never see this bracket. The bookcase is now hiding all those pipes from the side, but you can still see them from the front, so I need a capping piece. I've got a bit of wood that would do this, but I need to cut out of the bottom the shape of the skirting board so it can slide into place. So I just draw around a scrap piece and then I can get that cut out with a jigsaw. This bit of wood now can get glued onto the front of the bookcase. I run a bead of just some PVA down then I can get it put in place and get some clamps tightened up all the way down it. Thank you. 
when I've got enough clamps on, I leave it all to dry for a couple of hours, then they can come off and I can start getting the books put in place. I thought this was going to be quite a big bookcase and leave me a few shelves spare, but actually I managed to fill it up completely. One last finishing touch, put on one of the clip lamps that I used to have in the workshop on the top. So that's it all done. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.